Missy, how would you and Sheldon like a graduation party? Why would Missy have a graduation party? Because I'm graduating elementary school. That counts. Of course it counts. Yes, it's a big deal. She's going to a new school. New friends, new teachers. Same clothes, because we're poor. We're not poor. So I can get new clothes? Not rich, either. Do I really got to sit through two graduations? Yes, it is a special day for your brother and your sister. I'm giving the valedictorian speech. And I'm singing This Land is Your Land with a bunch of other kids. And we are proud of you both equally. Guess what? The local news wants to do a story on Sheldon being valedictorian. <laughs> Isn't that great? What? The next day, the local news showed up to interview me and my family. Which may sound impressive, but this is the same local news that covered a potato chip shaped like Texas. So act natural. We're just having a chat. I'm going to ask you all a few questions about Sheldon's high school graduation. I'm graduating also. Really? You're graduating from high school too? No, elementary school. Oh. My class is singing This Land is Your Land. Want to hear it? This land is your land. This land hey, is my can I ask my girlfriend to the prom on TV? It would blow her mind. Island. We're here with the Cooper family, Mary, George, and 11-year-old Sheldon, who's going to be Medford High School's valedictorian. Mom and Dad, you must be so proud. Oh, very proud. But we're proud of all of our children. She has to say that. I was a little worried about missing Professor Proton, but I'm going to tape it and watch it at night. Once I'm in college, can we push my bedtime to 8.30? Let's talk bedtime when we're not on the news. I'm sure it'll work out since I have all summer to recalibrate my bathroom schedule. Let's not talk about that either. So what's it like being the parents of such a special child? Get away! Get away! Fascinating. <laughs> Every day is a blessing. Sheldon, tell us what you're going to miss the most about high school. Nothing. Really? Not your teachers, your friends. I only have one friend. And I don't think he's going to miss me because he already found other people to have lunch with. Oh, I'm sure he'll miss you. And I said I'm OK with watching Professor Proton at night, but that'll never work. I get overtired. Everybody knows that. Maybe we can turn the camera off. And the other day, I couldn't find my safety goggles, and I freaked out at school. And my dad asked, is this how I plan on acting when I get to college? And I said, no, but it probably is, because even though I'm smart, I'm just a little boy. I think we have enough. Okay. The following day, I attended my sister's elementary school graduation. She didn't deliver a speech to me, but she did make eye contact while she sang This Land is Your Land. And later that day, we had a graduation party for me and my sister. I don't normally care for parties, but this one wasn't so bad. Who's ready for cake? Me! Hey, should we say grace? Heck yeah. Let's hold hands. Oh, cool. Let's say grace. Dale invited Jesus to the party. And while he wasn't on my guest list, it was OK, because it made my mom happy. In fact, it was the best graduation party I had ever been to, until the one we had for my son, Leonard Cooper. Amen. 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 Hey. I wanted his name to be Leonard Nimoy Cooper, but Amy wouldn't let me. Be happy I let you name him Leonard. Okay, okay. Love you.